Hey folks, Midwest Copy Man. Back at you today with another Mystery Tackle Box Elite Fast Box Unboxing. It's February 2020. It's cold. I don't know if it, you can see my breath or not, but it's cold. Um, with my heat running in the shop, it's a little loud, so I shut it off. But right off the bat, I want to take a minute to address a couple trolls, even though I don't even like to give them a platform. But um, I've been accused of some horrendous things in the comments lately. It is quite comical. One guy going in so far as to accuse me of plagiarism. So I guess he don't know what plagiarism actually is, but I get what he was saying. He's trying to say that um, my video was, uh, one of my unboxing videos was like mirror image of somebody else's that I ripped it off or something. I don't even watch other people's unboxing videos. Come on, bro. These trolls. And then one guy freaking out because... The Ocho, I was talking about Stri the Strike King Ocho being a good bait, you know, stick bait, and I didn't know about the octagonal sides, and it makes sense. Ocho 8. Yeah, that makes sense. And uh, saying that uh, I only throw yum dingers. Yeah, I've said that before. If I'm going to spend my own money, that's what I buy, because for three bucks, you can't beat a yum dinger. But, man, I knew, given honest opinions, that um, when I'm really telling you how I feel about something, especially with the way Mystery Tackle Box has gone, in my opinion, lately, that I was going to butt hurt some people, especially the diehard MTV people, and I guess I've done that, so the trolls come out with their claws out, so I ain't going to let it bother me. I'm always going to give my honest opinion. I'm going to give you my honest opinion on these baits. Um, Monster Bass, I'm going to give you my honest opinion on Monster Bass. Sponsored or not, whatever's in the box, I'm going to give you my honest opinion. Um, yeah, a lot of Strike King stuff is Chinese stuff, and I don't like Chinese baits, and that's obvious and things. But as I've always said, Strike King is probably the the best of the Chinese baits you can get. So anyway, I'm not gonna give the trolls any more of a platform. Let's move on. February 2020 Mystery Tackle Box Elite Bass Box. It feels it feels good. It feels heavy this month. All right, we got a, back to a line card. Uh, we got our dibble, your normal dibble. And I see something I've got before that I actually kind of like a bit, quite a bit. So I'm excited I got another one. We got a few things in here. Let's start. Let's see if we can start with the top of the card. Guggen Squad Scout. Okay. Guggen Squad Catch Coast. You know, it's all this is all MTB related stuff. But now you can get Guggen stuff. I think you can buy all this stuff at pretty much every reputable tackle place. I think everybody's carrying Guggen stuff anymore. Um, and it is a jerk bait. I love jerk baits. Uh, let's check it out. Scout, nine ninety nine, four to six feet, four and a third inches, half ounce. This is something I will definitely throw, even being a bait that I'm not particularly a fan of the company. Um, I will throw this. I can already tell. Well, we'll have to get it out and check it out. But um, it looks like a good bait, and I like jerk baits. I really like a Lucky Craft Pointer or something. This is it's an all right bait. It don't have a lot of definition on the plastic or anything. Not that I think that's going to matter. You know, you don't see no ridges or anything like you would in a, in a Lucky Craft or what have you. But heavy bill on it. D-ring. I like that. I like the fact that it's got a D-ring on the bill. Three hooks, and they are sticky. Oh, well, here's another thing. The belly tells you the depth. I like that. When you're fumbling through a tackle box in a, in a tournament, you only got so much time. Stuff like that helps a lot. That's cool. Uh, silver eyes. Blue back. What's it, does it tell me what they're calling it? Pro blue number eight's the color. Half ounce jerk bait. I really like that. I like to see. Obviously, you can't tell till you see it. Till you jerk, jerk paws in the water, but um, and see how it. It, like dead fishes, I guess you could say, or whatever, but uh, it looks like a legit bait. I'm gonna throw it in the tackle box and check it out. What do you guys think? I don't know of any other jerk bait boxes right there, but we don't have time for that. I, say, I don't know of any other bait that I don't think like they're ripping anybody off or anything with it either. Like it's seems to be a new bait. So, anyway, that's the first bait Guggen bait. Oh, Yozuri, this is the one I was talking about at first, that I've got one of these in an MTB before, and I really kind of liked it. It's like a, it's a variation of a spinnerbait. Yozuri, and I really like Yozuri stuff. Yozuri crankbaits, absolutely money. I, 
the my favorite crankbait in the world is probably a Yozuri crankbait that I don't even think you can find anymore. I found like five on eBay and I bought them all up. They're awesome. Uh, I could show you one. Uh, Yozuri, Yozuri 3DB flat crank with the coffin lip. That bait is money. Anyway, shouldn't talk about that. It's not in our box. Anyway, Yozuri 3DB knuckle bait. So these, instead of having a Willow or Colorado blade, it's got that ball. And um, it flashes and it rattles. So it's pretty cool. It's, a, like I said, a variation of the... Oh, I was trying to read that. Sinking plongant. UV color, long cast, easy hookup, erratic action, wave motion. This is Japanese stuff here. This is what they promised us, and this is what I like to get. This is what they promised us when they was advertising the um, Elite Box to start two years ago, that you would get baits like this, and this is the baits I like to see. Oh, that sucker's in there. This is a Japanese bait. Why... Skirt can be a little heavier. Heavy, heavy hook with a bait keeper on a heavy hook and so you don't poke yourself beforehand. It's heavy stainless steel wire going up to the ball. Really quality bait. And then it's got the really cool graphics and instructions on the back. Really like Yozeri stuff. Really like that. Uh, nine ninety nine. Uh, I'm pumped. It's the first two baits I was trying to. I was trying to tell you which was my favorite right there, and I couldn't make my mind up honestly because I love a jerk bait, and uh, I've never been a huge spinner bait guy, but I do throw them obviously, like any bass fisherman. But uh, I really think these are pretty cool. Uh, the other one I got uh, one of my spinner bait boxes is yellow, so I got a different color too. So that's cool. Moving on, looking for a bomber jointed wake minnow. Right here. Bomber Lures. AW All Water. It's kind of big. Kind of goofy looking. Giant hooks on it. We'll check it out. $8.99. Uh, made in Guatemala. Gold, black, orange, black. Gold, black, orange, black's the color. No, gold, black, orange, blue. I apologize is the color. Uh, uh, three quarter ounce. Five and three eighths inch surface. Surface bait. So big, big bait, honestly. Three quarter ounce, almost six inches long. A lot of chrome, a lot of gold. Long, long bait. Big, heavy, heavy treble hooks. See, you have a problem. Oh, yeah, I couldn't bend them at all. Heavy, heavy lips set back a little bit. Heavy, heavy. It's a circle. Not a D-ring, but a heavy, heavy stainless steel split ring. Fire orange belly. I'm excited to see how that walks in the water, honestly. That's a pretty cool bait. I don't have a lot of stuff like that, but uh, I don't see anything wrong with it, honestly. $8.99. Bomber, jointed wake. So it's a wake bait. Throw it in the wake bait box. You know the wake baits are all the rage. Okay. Weston Ring Tease ST. What is that? Weston Ring Tease. Yeah, okay. So it's a soft bait. This is like a, a, this is a paddle bait. A swim bait. A heavily, body, heavily ribbed body swim bait. In a weird color, they're five inch, quarter ounce. They're telling you the weight of the soft plastic. That's kind of different. Six pieces, made in China. It is a Chinese company, but I think the Western stuff, I've got some of their stuff in the past in Mystery Tackle Box, and I believe it was all pretty good stuff, honestly, for being Chinese. I think it's more of the Strike King quality of Chinese stuff. Yeah, it's got a, it has like a, um, Ooh, they're all different colors, too. Has a squid-like scent. I don't know if it tells you that anywhere, but definitely a squid-like scent. Tells you different ways to drop shot at jig, Texas, Carolina rig on the back. 
So that's pretty cool. And then you got all these different colors. Every one of them is a different color. There's a sartreuse. There's a green pumpkin in the middle. There's a minnow. Heavily ribbed bodies on them suckers. I'll take one out. We'll check it out. There's the sartreuse one. Red eye. They all got red eyes. That's cool. Heavy. That's going to... That heavily ribbed body. That's going to put off a ton, a ton of vibration in the water, plus that boot tail kicking. That's cool bait. That is, that is something different for a uh, swim bait. I've never seen a swim bait like this, quite built like this. Oh, look. That's kind of neat on the, on the boot tail. They got their Weston graphic. Yeah, that's on every boot tail. In all different colors. So that's, that's cool. I guess if they hit on one, if they're only want one color, you're <laughs> you're screwed. But uh, I like the diversity. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna complain about it. Weston ring T six ninety nine for six, so a dollar fifteen a piece or whatever. Nice, nice swim bait. Awesome, awesome. Stand out, live shotting. Look at these little suckers. This is kind of weird to have in a um, bass box, but I, I can see it in the springtime. You know, you want to really slow it down. I like to drop shot and stuff, and these are drop shot hooks, but they're almost like a for a crappie. You think you'd... You tell me. But they're cool looking. I think I'd use them. Live shot and bring drop shot into life. Bags walleye, panfish, large fry pattern. High knot, a tag, tag end. So they're the standout hooks. I've had standout hooks I've got from them before, but never with the little, little jig made out of them. So we'll see if we can't get it open here and check them out. And these are six twenty-five for two of these suckers. Wow. So for two of these hooks, standout drop shot hooks. It's got some white and some some white and green and then your nice little neon sparklies there and that's retied onto your line so it'll stand out like you want it that's pretty cool slow it down in the spring I, even though it says you know pan fish and what have you I guarantee you I can catch a bass on that in the springtime and the ice comes off the water Yes, sir. I think they're a little expensive. I don't know if you catch me spending six dollars on these specifically to catch bass, but hey, whatever. Uh, moving on, guys. Bass Dynasty Dynacraw. What do we got here? That must be this soft plastic. Yeah, Bass Dynasty. This looks like a sample pack, though. It definitely is. It's only quantity four, so. It's here we go back to the no sample packs in uh, the Elite Box. But uh, it's got their social media stuff all over it. It's a black and red flake bait. $5.99 for four of these. Black with red flake. Three inch. There's four of them. It doesn't tell you. No scent. But they're kind of a unique looking little soft plastic. Crayfish imitation type body. The eyes and antennas like a crayfish. Little boot tail pinchers. So your crawfish has uh, boot tail pinchers for the bass to rip off. That's pretty cool. I honestly kind of like them. It'd be a nice trailer or what have you on a jig. It'd be a perfect jig trailer, especially in the spring when you're trying to size it down a little bit. I like them. I like them. But you only get four of them, guys. Five ninety nine. We've got uh, three more. Moving on. Stickies EWG. So throw some hooks in there for us, cause you know we're gonna be going through some hooks in the spring. I do like that, that Mystery Tackle Box gives us that terminal tackle that we have to have anyway. Seven pack, too. 
Seven pack of three odd. Three odd EWG, some good old worm hooks, what have you. Damn. It's just standard EWG hook. And three odd. Pretty good hooks, though. Feel good. Stickies, you got seven of them for five bucks. So, that's cool. Gotta have hooks. Carl's Amazing Baits Varmint, three forty nine. So you ain't buying these in the store either. Another sample pack though. We got a watermelon black flake color, and no sticker to tell you anything about the length or anything like that either. Uh, but it's a Carl's bait. It's got uh, it's a little crawl, green with the black flake. Ooh. It's got a real weird texture to it, guys. Like, uh, it's got like a checkered pattern. I don't know if I could. There's a real fine abrasive type checkered pattern on those crawls. That's cool. Something different. Always something different. I like different. And how the side crawls have a little split in them. Something different. Nice little soft plastic, perfect trailer for a jig or just a Texas rig, this sucker. Especially in the springtime, it's the perfect size because it ain't much. It's only about two and three quarter inches or so. Perfect size, Texas rig that or a little jig, little quarter ounce jig through the brush and what have you. Mm. I'd use these, but only four of them. So that's kind of a bummer, but I'll tell you what. They gave us something to go along with this other stuff. We got drop shot weights, so more terminal tackle. That is cool. So we go right drop shotting. So we got four round Carl Stash drop shot weights, 316 ounce four pack. Snap your line right in one of them bad boys. You got the drop shot hooks and start drop shotting. And uh, I mean, you could even nose hook one of these swim baits to drop shot or what have you. So you could go fishing right out of this box. And slay some fish, honestly. If you're not familiar with the drop shot weights, I'll show you here. Because you can get drop shot weights in a few different variations if you didn't know. These are just your simple round cannonball type drop shot weight. You put your line through that hole and just pull it up. I clip the extra. And it stays in there. And uh, I don't want it super tight or anything because, honestly, I want it to come off in the rocks. If it, I would rather lose, the, rather lose the weight than anything else. So <laughs> it was honestly a really good box this month, February 2020. I have no complaints. Catchco bomb sticker. Bomb sticker for a bomb box. Man, oh man, no complaints at all this month for Mystery Tackle Box. They did a good job in my opinion. If you liked the video, go down below, smash the like button for me. If you haven't seen this video right here, click on it. It's awesome. If you've seen it, click on this video. It's awesome too. If you haven't subscribed to me, go right here. Subscribe to the Crappie Man. Till next time, the West Crappie Man out.